It was another sorry incident in Edo State as the hashtag NSAS protests continued in Nigeria and across the world. There have been positives from the uh, NSAS protests across Nigeria and across many states, especially Lagos, Abuja, uh, Ogun State, uh, some other states as it were. But in Edo State, it was a tragic situation and a very gory one as two protesters were said to have been killed. Two protesters were allegedly killed today in Benin as Edsas protesters carried the dead body of a protester to the government house. I would like you to watch the video and see how they tr moved the uh, body to the government house. Protesters are still being killed despite the fact that they are protesting about NSAS. Who are the people killing these protesters is the next question that needs to be asked again. Why are protesters being killed across the world? Why? What is happening? Is the question that we should continue to ask. Despite all that has been said and all that is still going on, why are these protesters being killed? This is sad and unfortunate and should not be tolerated. Today, it happened today, today in Edo State, the Benin City. It remains to be seen what can be made of this particular situation and incident that happened today in Benin. I'd like you to watch the video. The video is coming very soon. You will get to see the video. Just be patient and see how uh, protesters, you know, carried this body to the government house. Instead of the government to act and allow the youths to leave the streets, they have continued to keep silent and uh, they have continued to drag foot on what the, the demands of the youths and uh, it is causing mayhem and the youths have continued to remain on the streets. This is really, really sad and unfortunate. Does it mean that the government is not really, uh, is not really concerned or they don't feel the pain of the people? Does it mean that the leadership of the country does not understand or feel the pains that Nigerians are going through and why Nigerians are crying for this uh, reformation of the police? It is really, really sad. I'd like you to watch the video now. You'll get to see the video and see for yourself how it, is, how it happened. According to the video that we got, angry NSAS protesters have carried the body of one of the protesters to the government house today. It was reported earlier today that armed dogs attacked protesters in Benin. One person was confirmed dead due to the major injury he sustained from a machete. What many protesters, why, why many protesters were injured? This is sad and unfortunate. According to Real Drillo, he said one dead, many injured at Benin. These unlawful killings are being sponsored. Let the whole world know. Hashtag answers. 90S Sophie says, sad news that peaceful protesters at Ring Road in Benin City got shot at and some persons rushed to the hospitals. It is really, really sad. The angry protesters carried the dead body of the protester and marched with it to the government house. They complained that the police weren't seen around when the talks attacked and the police hasn't still intervened up until now. They showed their anger towards the governor by bringing the dead body to, of the protester to the government house. This is what it is and that is what is happening today. It is really, really sad. What is this country turning to? Where is this country going to? Is the question that we need to ask ourselves. It is really, really sad. They listed some of the things that they want from the government. And it says, one, end SACs. Two, SAC security chiefs. Three, improve security. Four, reduce petrol pump price. Five, reduction in the PHCN bill. Six, create jobs. Seven, stop banditry and headsmen. 
Eight, inclusive government with 50% use. Nine, end ASU strike. Ten, politicians should be placed on minimum wage. Eleven, they want electoral reforms. A, a complete migration to 100% electronic voting. A president must have at least first university degree. Strip ex-governors of security votes and more. These are some of the requests that Nigerian youths have also listed and posted to the government. It remains to be seen if the government will hack into these demands and grant these desires. But what do you think, guys, concerning all this? Another person says, make police come take head, carry on. Naim, na, say na, say Naim cause commotion, Abi. Una no say voice of lazy man know the street during pounded yam sharing. Well, if they fail to carry the body to the governor, he may not believe it is true. He will now take a decision. Exactly. He will take a decision and know that what is going on is real. What the people are saying and complain about is the truth and it needs attention, as it were. Beatrice Ogedegwe says, they oppressed citizens, yet they don't want them to cry. If they do, they are hunted and killed. These are bad leaders. These are bad leaders. At Ham Zuma says, the governor should do the needful by bringing the perpetrators of these dastardly acts to book. To book. It is what it is, guys. What do you think the government can do? What is happening in Benin? What is happening in Benin, the two states? Well, it is what it is, guys. It is really, really sad and unfortunate that this is what we are getting in this particular uh, situation or in this uh, under this protest that ought to be a peaceful protest, you know, for the people. It shouldn't be tolerated, it shouldn't be accommodated, and it should not be allowed. The protest is sponsored by crooks. Really? I cannot believe this. This protest is not sponsored by crooks. They are sponsored by concerned Nigerians, people who feel that over truths uh, people need to, uh, to mount this pressure on the government to do the needful. Yes, they provide food and allowances. Our country has no real values of common men or women. What the simple citizens need are, dis are dictated by a few cronies controlling political nonsense. Yes, it is what it is. The government needs to wake up. This protest, I pray, should not come to an end anytime soon because the government needs to be woken up. They need to be put on their toes and until that is achieved, they would not know how serious this particular issue is. So it is what it is. Let's take a few reactions. Another person says, I have always said this, that the police brutality in Nigeria is worse than that in the U.S. Police kill people in Nigeria without traces, simply because they are using guns that cannot be traced. You can imagine, if this is true, then, then something is wrong. If their guns cannot be traced, then something is wrong. If their bullets are not, counted, are not accounted for, as it were, then something is wrong. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. May God continue to intervene in this country. Beyond God's intervention, we the people also need to intervene and show that uh, we need this to happen. Lawrence Ibitie says, the governor is the chief security officer of the state. So whatever happened in the state, the governor needs to be carried along. Exactly. And that is what has been done today in Benin City. What the protesters want the Benin government house to do with the dead body, it is that the people want the government to be aware, see it for himself, and know that this is what is happening, and provide security for the protesters, because the protesters have a right to peaceful protest, and they were not causing commotion, they were peacefully protesting. So it is what it is, they must, the government must provide security, adequate security for the protesters. That is what it is. Take it or leave it. This journey continues until the government listens, pays attention, grants the needs of the people. It will continue. It is what it is, guys. Drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your support.